Hello and welcome back to Plant Side 2 Solo. Uh, today I am playing as the Terran Republic. I am on Amorish and it's been a while since I played. Um, a few weeks actually. I'm just trying to get back into the game. Just uh, kind of not not trying to expose myself too much to damage at the moment. Uh, oh, didn't need to do that, but sure. Um, one of the things I have done is chosen a class I'm familiar with. So this is the light assault. I'm just letting my shield come back. Just pillaring people uh, using the, the doorway here. That guy's going to get back up. So uh, he went the other way. Fine. Medics, uh, medics do a medic -y job. I'm not going to go. I'm going to go and just land on this pad, uh, this, this rooftop. Just going to walk. Then, then, minimum. Going to use this railing as cover as I as I'm walking around. Uh, people are going to be spawning over there. Um, I could put some bullets in their direction, but it's not really going to have that much of an effect. We're going up against the NC at the moment, uh, which means they could come up this elevator. They are in fact all in there. Uh, would you do the? Ah, uh, no. Literally, they are all in there. Uh, well, this is an interesting tactic. Bring the Sunderer this close to the base, but sure, nobody can see for you from the roof or anything. Um, gone with the heavy this time because I think I am so rusty that if I just kind of walk around like I normally do, I am going to straight die. Uh, gone with an NC weapon as well, which is a, a little bit more accurate. Uh, slower firing than, um, than uh, typical Terran Republic weapons, but I'm going to go with the accuracy over... Oh, there's shots coming from the top there. Uh, I'm going to go with accuracy over uh, rate of fire at this point because, literally, because I'm so um, so far out of uh, the zone. Uh, it's going to take a, a little while to get back into it. Reasons? Well, um, yeah, I had some serious problems with hard drives. Um, a couple of hard drives. I'm going to toss a pineapple on the roof and see what gets hit. And hopefully, it doesn't bounce down onto our friendlies. Uh, good. So what have I done to make things uh, easy for myself? Well, believe it or not, I've actually turned the mouse sensitivity down um, a notch. I use a Logitech mouse, but um, other mice actually have the ability to do this. Uh, on the fly DPI sensitivity adjustment. And what you do is you just knock it down a notch. And that helps with things like, whoop, grenade. If you're overshooting a lot, you can, um, you, you can just kind of, uh, uh, you don't need to correct for that. Oh, that's the spawn room. That's why we're we're all camping here. Oh, they've changed the uh, they've changed the model and the noise for the auto cannons. That's that's pretty sweet. Um, no, we are friendly, so we don't shoot each other. That's one thing we don't do. Um, you can queue spot through the through the uh, through the old base shields, uh, although you can't see through it. Nice. Um, I think we've got this place. This is actually a different place um, than I, I started the video at because well, guess what. Um, yeah, well, last Sunderer's got blown up, which wasn't a good thing. And I've gone with a uh, gone with a cloaky. Yeah, they're gonna know I'm there, but it gives me gives me the edge over you know not getting shot, which is something I, I do kind of enjoy. So we can now we can now bail from this place. Uh, what I probably will do is grab a lightning. I'm thinking thinking lightning is the way to go, and the only way to drive a lightning is if you are an engineer, and the en engineer is not the way that third better. Yeah, you don't become an engineer by cloaking. Okay, so I pulled a lightning. Uh, I've got the L100 Python Heat on here. Um, I don't really play this character a lot. Uh, I don't have thermal vision, which would be so useful right about now. Um, this is, uh, I think these guys are defending here against the Vanu, so I'm not sure how much action we've got here, but we've got a bunch of tanks. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see the friendlies, especially with the uh, without having thermal vision. Um, I think what they're doing, it looks like they are... Are they up on the cleft tops? They've certainly got a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, they are. They're, they're all on the, on the cliffs up there. So it looks like they're just coming down from the top. And I'm going to see if I can get through here without killing anyone. That's a big problem when you're in a tank, um, running over friendlies. Just going to pick my way through. Come on, guys, just coming through. Just, just sort of nudging my way through, uh, keeping the T as external view. Um, it helps for not turning friendly soldiers into pancakes. Now, because of net code and the half second delay, uh, sorry, the um, tenth of a second delay, half second would be a hell of a lot, uh, tenth of a second delay uh, between um, what your client sees and what everyone else sees, uh, there is still a chance for you to run people over. Um, just going to press T. These guys are going to try and C4 like crazy. I don't think I can get that high up. Um, can I get a shot in his face? Nope. 
anyone anyone standing up there just with their face on the on the cliff top is pretty brave not gonna lie um, they are gonna be uh, Vanu we are shooting Vanu gotta remember that not playing Vanu shooting Vanu um, I do actually have a radar on the back of this as well the trouble is with getting the gun up high enough it's it's virtually impossible uh, which means this place is is just the best place to be using C4 at the moment if you happen to be the enemy or that guy there run down the cliff sand nope nope well he died anyway he died anyway that's not a problem um, I think I might just abandon this though I don't really want to abandon it on the road because it's gonna block block all this traffic off um, unfortunately the road does seem to be fairly well blocked but without being able to get elevation without yeah this is this is not the best place and that guy was trying to drop c4 on my face so um yeah yeah i could park it or could i nope we're just gonna have to press on and hopefully not get blown up um q is still gonna spot uh this tank is gonna go gonna bail gonna bail gonna bail yeah that thing is is well gone uh, which means now my role is support so I can press F I can drop out an ammo pack for these these people at the front which is probably quite useful uh, I'm gonna press one gonna get my gun out rather than trying to scroll through using the mouse wheel we are fairly well pinned down there are medics um, what's this like uh, three gets out yeah yeah so if there's any vehicles nearby or maxes um, and you can't get shot on the enemy just repair the maxes repair the vehicles people love that especially since this guy is actually NTS so I'm gonna toss out some ammo for them uh, go back to I'll just press 3 for this uh, I'm not gonna stand behind these tanks because they attract tanks what they're gonna to want to do is they're gonna to want to uh, move forward and back and if you stand behind a, a tank and even if you're trying to repair it and you're, you're, you're trying to do something altruous or altruistic uh, you, they're just gonna turn you into road pizza um, sniper shots coming past but this tank is getting hit and I can tell because as I'm repairing it it's taking damage uh, so let's get some reps on this guy let's not get run over by the Sunderer um, let's wait for this to cool down I'm gonna crouch down next to the tank and hopefully just keep an eye on what's going on above uh, get some reps on this guy uh, just keep an eye on again what's going on above press one because he's moving on get thermal uh, thermal vision. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, yeah. This isn't thermal. This is HSMV. Good. Um, that's that felt like C4. That guy over there needs to die. Why am I holding? Why? Why am I holding the old um, uh, mouse four, which is my push to talk? If I haven't been talking in mumble on the old uh, on the old PC, um, the way we record the the audio and uh, video for. Um, this by the way is we record the audio on a laptop and we record the video on the desktop PC because if there's any more uh, people in mumble uh, I'm, I'm in the worst place for this tank actually if there's any more people in mumble uh, you'll record you record them but you won't record yourself I can't remember it was, it was something weird um, and we, we tried something called virtual audio cable and it turned out just to be a lot easier to to have it on a hmm. bye godspeed um, send us a postcard it, it turned out to be a lot easier just to use a second system and uh, run it through a uh, run it through a mixing desk which is why we've got a, uh, a Xenex um, mixing desk each which is kind of cool I want to repair that tank I don't think I'm going to be able to no tank's gone but that Sunderer could help us so I'm going to see if I can get some reps on it without getting myself no, he's dead. He's very dead. Um, ammo? Well, ammo, cause ammo's going to help somebody. Can't really see that far with the HSMV scope because it doesn't have that great range. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of push our way forwards. There, there are tanks up there. It's not where we want, so I'm going to try and uh, get some cover between us and the tanks. Good weird, I'm an engineer. I can do something about that. Yes, I can actually. Um, as long as I don't get straight murdered by people coming. Okay, let's get some hits on the max. Hopefully he'll take the hint and get lost. Put some ammo down because this medic is not going to be able to. Um, not going to be able to. Get, can I get this? 
Yeah. Ooh, that sounded like that sounded like a knife. Okay. Not sure. Uh, so I'm going to go launch missile. Yeah, that was a knife. So there's a there's a cloak with a knife just sort of wandering around. Well, good luck to him. Good if you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to get rezzed. Uh, I'm going to immediately flip to my pistol, uh, which is good, and just have a little look around with the flashlight. Anyone, anyone cloaked is going to get, uh, well, lit up. Um, let's get some hits on these guys, because I, I really don't like them being up there, and hopefully that gives them the hint to sod off. Uh, while this is happening, I am getting resupply bonuses, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I do actually. It's here. Look, ammo. Uh, V1 to say thank you very much. Um, yep. Okay, good. And I'm going to go back on this. Can I see anything? No, there's a turret, but I think it's empty. So I'm going to I'm going to carry on moving forward. I'm getting um, resupply bonuses. So yeah, resupplying rut bonuses and still being able to push forward and shoot people. The engine is pretty versatile. Uh, it doesn't get the ability to fly, which is you know. Um, nice if you're a light assault and it's something I, I really do like having light assault because the maps are so vertical and because the the terrain there's a lot of uh, a lot of walking and stuff Ooh, tank q spot get out of its way see if i can deploy a turret um they did change this because you can you can deploy these turrets on ground that was um too too angled and uh they, they've changed that so you can you can put it down pretty much anywhere um, obviously still not on a not on a hillside or anything. Uh, just keeping ears open for the Santa Cloakers. The, the high pitched whistle is in fact a uh, friendly cloak. Let's get some hits on these guys. Hits, 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 hits. Nice. So that was what was that a cloaker? Um, who knows? Who cares? He's dead. Sucks to be him. Um, that was a sniper from probably up there, which is why we, we don't stop moving. Uh, that guy is going to die. Um, unfortunately, I can't get that guy off the ground. I'm not a, not a medic, but his death bought me enough time to work out where the dude was and then shoot him in his stupid base. Ammo down, because uh, you you want to put ammo down for, for, for the good people. Even if there's an uh, ammo box down already, just uh, do it. Whatever. Everyone likes more ammo. Can the ammo boxes be destroyed? Good question. Not sure. Not sure. Haven't uh, haven't tried it. If they can, then they've got a pretty small uh, hitbox. Just kind of keeping an eye on people up there. What's going on? Get some Q spot and then move forward. Rockets coming in. That's not so good. Oh, oh god! No, 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 no. So those are anti-vehicle mines, and uh, actually we're getting shot from somewhere. I'm going to just drop down here. Press one to get my weapon out. It's a lot, lot quicker than scrolling with a mouse wheel. Just let my shields recharge a bit. I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Uh, guy there running towards that tank? Is he? Nope. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, did we get an assist on that? Probably. It's a good thing. I think there's a guy here. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is probably the worst thing. Hip fire, hip, hip, hip fire. Definitely. So we both made a mistake. Uh, I made a mistake by um, by going into ADS. Like I said, I haven't. I've been I've been away for a few weeks uh, from the game. Um, he made a mistake by trying to throw a grenade at me while I was shooting him in the face. Uh, his mistake was worse than mine. He died. Um, I'm getting see that's my ammo box. I'm getting uh, reps from uh, reps. I'm getting points from these guys for resupply. I'm gonna go get out of everyone's way. Ah, there's a tank there shooting in. That's. Uh, that's not something you want to be hit by. So not that much in the way of kills, but a solid amount of XP for... Now, do I want to revive knowing there's a tank there? Uh, yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. Um, I'm going to press V1, and I'm going to cover cover the guy, kill kill the sniper, but die anyway. Um, if you do get res by um, uh, a friendly medic, and you and he are the only ones left, do try and cover your medic so you can get your, the rest of your friends up. I'm going to hit chain spawn because I don't know where that, that spawn is. Uh, it gives me a chance to look at the map as well. We are... Um, well, we are pushing into enemy lines. It gives us a chance to look and see what's going on. 
Um, 24 to 48 friendlies, 48 to 96 uh, enemies. It's, this is going to be ridiculous if we try and hold this. There's a little pocket here. Um, what is actually going on at the moment? Uh, not a lot, I think. I think this is this is basically where it is. This is where it's at for the time being. So we're gonna we're gonna carry on here. But I think I'm gonna call it there for the time being. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're liking this, please like, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel because that always always helps. We could always do with uh, new eyes, new subscribers, you know, stuff like that. It's great. And I will catch you next time.